So we've worked trip extensively on the Delmar Smith Wonder Lead, doing the coming to the front program or quartering as some folks will say, but really coming to the front. He's, he's taken to it. He's let us know that he's ready to move on to the next, the next process which is going from that six foot wonder lead up to a 20 foot check cord. I'm gonna transition using this Lobo lead right here. Basically, it gives him the same point of contact on his neck as the, the wonder lead. Um, so I think that'll help. And then we'll slowly transition from that directly to his collar. So again, we're going to put it so it comes up over the top here. We're going to have this snug up right behind his ears. Again, just like the Delmore Smith Wonder Lead. Perfect. What we're going to do is, again, same thing. We're going to go and we're going to basically perform a quartering maneuver. We're going to do the two taps to indicate that he needs to now come to the front, needs to pay attention to us. It's all about our relationship and him keying off of me. Again, next level of that foundation work. Moving on this way when we're working off horseback and he sees a horse move into a direction, he knows that that's where we want him to go and he'll then go to the front. All about progression here. So let's show you how it's done. That was excellent. Let's give you a couple other pointers though. It's nice to work with a semi-stiff check cord like the almost famous 20 foot check cord that we sell here at Dogs Unlimited. Why? Because you're transferring information down the check cord. You want it to get there as quickly as possible. When your dog hits the end, every once in a while, they're gonna wanna loop back, which is hugely inefficient and you should stop the lesson right then and change that. So, for instance, if Trip were to come out here and then turn this way, oh no, we need to stop. We need to make sure that he understands that we want him to come this way before heading back across. Again, just like the Wonder Lead, you're going to want to keep the short, intensive sessions. 10 minutes, about that. Otherwise, they start losing focus and kind of doing whatever they want. You're going to start having to correct and correct and correct. You know, why end on a bad note? Always end on a good, positive note with your dog and then put him up. He'll be thinking about all the good things he did and uh, you'll have a better dog because of it.